Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. It is Monday and Scarlett is down for her nap. Uh, she's right here and it actually took her a while to fall asleep. She kept freaking me out because she kept taking her blanket and pulling it over her head. Um, so anyway, she's finally asleep and um, yesterday was Easter and I didn't vlog at all this weekend so I thought I'd catch you guys up on kind of what happened this weekend. So um, Saturday Scarlett had her four month appointment with the pediatrician and she um, got her four month shots and also um, there was another little issue that I'll talk to you guys about in here in a second but anyways, um, anyways she did great with her shots. She cried as expected. She turned bright red and started screaming for about five minutes but that's pretty typical. She didn't have any reactions or fever or anything at her two month appointment when she got her shots. So this time it was the same thing. This time at her four month appointment, she was getting the same shots. So I knew they weren't really gonna affect her. So um, yeah, so that went good. And then Saturday night, we went out with some of Ty's friends and it was really fun. They were in town for the weekend. It was good that Ty got to see some of his friends. And then Sunday for Easter, um, we went over to Ty's family's house and just ate and drank wine and that kind of stuff, so nothing too crazy. But if you guys follow me on Snapchat, I did post a Snapchat Saturday saying that we had kind of a difficult um, appointment. So I talked to you guys in my three month update of Scarlett that she was kind of struggling with one of, with the left side of her head being a little flat. And um, at that point, I was more concerned because she wasn't able, or she was able, but she didn't really turn her head um, from left to right. She would just keep it to the left, but I had been working with her and now I feel like she has no issues with her neck muscles and is able to move her head from her left to her right. So I felt like it was getting better and she did have, she does have a little bit of a flat spot still, but it's not super bad and so I thought things were getting better. So um, our doctor laid her down on the doctor's table or the patient table, whatever that little table is they sit on. And um, she showed us her head. Her feet were laying that way and her head was here. And she showed us from this direction, like looking at her head on and then pushed her fingers inside Scarlett's ears. And her ears are kind of like this. Um, so because of the flat spot, it's shifting the way her ears are developing and um, she's not symmetrical right now. And so, <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna get emotional. I don't know why, it's just, I, I think just being a first time mom, this is just really hard for me to deal with. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> um, God, I don't know why it gets to be so bad. I am so sorry. Anyways, um, I think there's just like a lot of guilt that you take on and I know I did. I'm frustrated because I feel like uh, I'm probably overreacting more than I need to be. I know this happens to a lot of babies, but I feel like um, her flat head could have been prevented, which would have prevented us running into this issue. So um, I'm frustrated because I didn't really know as a first time mom that this was even a major Thing that can happen. I wish the doctors or nurses or somebody would have said make sure you're turning your baby from left to right or making sure they're not just favoring one side because your baby can get a you know your baby can get flat spots which will kind of affect her development. I'm not placing the blame on anybody by any means but it's just frustrating that you know maybe I, I, I can't help but feel that mom guilt <laughs> which is so real i don't know i just feel guilty that i wasn't able to prevent it and now i'm trying to do everything to backtrack to fix her head um the doctor said that more than likely what she's experiencing is called plagiocephaly and it's extremely common and can be treated and can be fixed so um i am thankful for that but he did say that because of the because of her ears that are shifting, it can start to cause issues with her jaw and her alignment, which can cause a lot of issues down the road. So um, she referred us to a cranial specialist um, and we actually have an appointment with them on Wednesday. And um, I just called them and scheduled and we're gonna have a consultation. They're going to do 3D imaging of her head and um, see you know, what level it's at. Um, and we have not been diagnosed with the plagiocephaly yet, but um, more than likely them, they will diagnose us and tell us like how severe and not how how severe it is and um, and all of that. Which I, you know, honestly, I know it's not that bad. I know it's mild. 
you know, at least I think it's mild just from what I see. And then like, if I look at pictures on the internet, I'm able to compare. Um, hers looks very mild, but it's still just, it still just bothers me because I just want to do everything possible to make sure she has, you know, a good life and, you know, she's a girl and I'm not trying to be superficial or anything, but her appearances are going to matter to her and I don't want her to have any, I don't want her to have any issues with that, honestly. Um, I also don't want her to have any jaw pain. I don't want her to be in any pain at all from this. So we will be meeting with them Wednesday and after they do the imaging, we'll sit down with the doctors and they will pretty much create a treatment plan for us if one's needed. Um, I was reading about the platyocephaly. Some people say that you know, it will fix itself as she grows older, um, which is true. And if she just had the flat spot, I wouldn't be as, as concerned. Um, but the fact that her ears are not symmetrical to her head um, and that can cause the jaw irritation, um, that's where my concern falls and also where the doctor's concern falls. So that's why we are taking this next step with a specialist. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure I'm just having a first time mom freak out, but it's, it's hard um, when you're in this position and you feel like it's something you did wrong. It's really hard <laughs> because you feel like you could have prevented it. At the end of the day, I just need to think about it. I'm happy she's healthy. I'm happy she's not sick. Um, this is just a minor issue and we will get past it and we will be able to help her. So yeah, I think that's why I'm taking it a little bit harder. And you know, at the, at the same time, I think I was in denial. I, you know, I knew she was having issues with her head and honestly, I tried, I've literally tried everything possible to fit, to help her before the doctor was telling me about her flat head. I would just let her sleep and I wouldn't even think about changing her sides of her head. I, I literally had no idea that letting her sleep on one side of her head was going to cause these issues. So thank you everybody who reached out to me about my Snapchat and made sure Scarlett was doing okay and everything was fine and um, I really appreciate all the support. So thank you everybody. And I will keep you all updated about how my appointment goes Wednesday with um, the cranial specialist. So anyways, that's kind of what's been going on. If you guys have any kind of like stories that this happened with your baby as well, or if you have gone through the same thing or know somebody who's gone through the same thing, I would love to just hear kind of like how it played out for you guys and um, what you ended up doing. Did you move forward with the treatment um, from the cranial specialist or did you just let it fix itself? Um, so I am definitely interested if you guys have any experiences with this as well. So Scarlett's still sleeping and I am going to go take a few minutes and collect myself and get myself together because I feel like I'm about to break down now. So, okay, I'm better. <laughs> I'm much better and Scarlett just woke up. So I just opened the door and turned on her musical. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, you love looking at the camera, don't you? <laughs> Anyways, I need to get out of this house right now. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go to Costco. Um, we really need, yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah, we are. Um, I really need to get like formula for her because it's so much cheaper there and I've been buying it just at, like the grocery store because I've been lazy and haven't gotten to Costco. So I also need to stock up on like paper supplies, like toilet paper and paper towels. So yeah, we're gonna go there. So these are what we're gonna wear today. <laughs> Scarlett picked them out. I held her up in her closet right here and just let her grab something and these are what she grabbed. So <laughs> they're really cute. They have little coffee cups and donuts all over them. Super cute, Scarlett. Are you excited? Okay, your Scarlett's OOTD shirt from the Workout Princess, and her little shorts are from Trendy Twins Co. Super cute. I was kind of bummed when I got these in because I thought I ordered the bummies, but I actually really like the shorts. So I just folded these over because they were a little long on her. Guys, I changed Scarlett's bow. This one looked cuter. Hi, happy girl. You just look so cute today. We just had a little photo shoot. <laughs> You're happy. You got your slumberkins. If you guys want to know the secret of how I get her to smile, this thing right here. I talked about this in her three month update. Show this off. And it's literally like her favorite thing. It's baby Einstein. You can get it off of Amazon and it's amazing. You want your star? Oh, there's your star. Okay, we're about ready to go to Costco. I put her other pink bow back on just for the car seat. Hi. 
trying to decide if I want to baby wear her in Costco or if I want to just keep her in a car seat because I can't decide how much stuff I'm going to get. Hi. <laughs> She's so happy right now. I think I'm just going to leave her in a car seat. But I'm probably going to regret it when I run out of room in the cart. Because the Binksy babies that I always use when I go to the grocery store, <laughs> she's so happy right now, those do not work in the Costco shopping carts. The Costco shopping carts are too big, so Binksy's do not fit in that. You're just a happy girl right now, aren't you? Okay, so it's almost 100 degrees out. I'll show you. Anyways, this noggle that I was telling you guys about and that I put in in a couple other vlogs is perfect for days like today because it's directly blowing air onto Scarlett so she's not not getting air back there so I think this thing is amazing I love it I, I would say it's a must-have for anybody who lives in like a boss are crooked anybody who lives in like a hot state or um, if you just don't have vents back there or whatever I think this thing is a win but anyways we just left or we just got done with Costco my glasses are so crooked this is what I get for buying cheap glasses but um I thought that coming today on a weekday was going to be slower and I was wrong because I didn't realize it's the Monday after Easter and a lot of people have still taken off work so it was packed like crazy and I I don't know I hate like being in places like that when they're so busy so I really didn't get that much stuff um, but I did get what we need so we're gonna go home now um, and I'm starving it's 1 15 or so so I'm ready to get some lunch yeah girl gonna get that caramel macchiato or what is it called the iced cinnamon almond milk macchiato I need some coffee in my life Thank you for choosing Starbucks. This is Jared. What can I start for you today? Hi, I just need a grande, um, the cinnamon almond milk macchiato iced. And sorry, what size fetching? Um, sure. <laughs> Anything else with? That'll be it. Alright, 566. Six. Thank you. You guys, my drink is only 190 calories for a grande. Did you see that? Because my drink that I always get, the almond milk one, that I didn't know how many calories it was and I was too lazy to look up, it's only 190 calories. And that's pretty good because I've been drinking them a lot. That's for a grande, I just got a venti, so it's gonna be a little bit more than that, but they're really not that bad. So that's actually a lot better than I thought it was. That's actually a lot better than a lot of the healthy drinks that I get here. So I'm pretty happy. One time I couldn't find my phone and I was at Ty's parents' house and it was on top of my car and I literally drove like, like I pulled, I was on the side of the street and I pulled into the driveway because I thought I left it in their house and I had Scarlett in the car and didn't want to leave her on the street and my phone was just up here. So, funny story of the day. Hi baby. Are you ready to get out of this hot car? Are you ready? Oh. Well, hello, Andy. Oh, I'm stuck. Successful Costco trip. Okay, I gotta bring all this in. You guys, if you formula feed your baby, and if you like Infamil, which is what we use, um, the best place to get it from is Costco. I have not found a better deal anywhere else. Um, these are the ones that you buy just at the grocery store. And these are 22.2 ounces, and this thing right here is 25 bucks. Now, these are uh, 27 ounces for two of them, and this is $50. So $25 a can, but you also get, what is that, five more ounces in each one. So it's not a ton more, but anything helps. Scarlett is playing in a high chair while I cook some lunch. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Here's Scarlett. She got this toy for Easter. It's a Bright Stars toy. Yay! Look at that. All right, she should be happy. So, I'm gonna eat sweet potatoes and two fried eggs. 
So Scarlett's getting kind of angry, but I'm gonna show you really fast what I'm gonna put on this. I'm gonna put garlic salt, paprika, ground red pepper, and seasoned salt. And then I have my sweet potato cut up and I have olive oil um, also in it. Okay, so my dinner is cooked and ready to eat. Here it is. My sweet potato, it's a full sweet potato that I cut up. I'm probably not gonna be able to eat all that. And then I have two eggs. So I'll just save the rest for dinner or something. And Scarlett is over here. Right here, hanging out in the mama room. <laughs> Happy as can be. She loves looking at these little egg thingies. Pretty cool. Yep. And right there is my giant case of San Pellegrino water that my husband is obsessed with. And he's gonna be so excited that I bought it for him today at Costco. So she's laying on her left side right now, so I'm going to go try to reposition her, reposition her head without waking her up. I keep repositioning her head when she's taking a nap um, during the day. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do at night because I feel like she flops her head back and forth at night and she does it during the day too, but I can just keep a closer eye on it during the day so I won't let her put any pressure on that side. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps a little bit. I don't know. We will see what the specialist says. So we left our house again because I'm gonna go to Target. Um, I'm going to do like an organization video or something like that. Not because I really want to film the video, but because I really want to get organized with my life because I feel like my like drawers and cabinets are an absolute mess. So I figured I'd just make a video out of it. Anyways, um, I got a package. I ordered some more pajamas for Scarlett because Children's Place got some new ones in and finally had some in her size. And as you guys have heard me talk about before, those are like the only pajamas we wear because I absolutely love them. They're super lightweight, they're not too hot, and they zip, which is the main thing that I like about them. Anyways, look how cute those are. They say, mom's boss. Totally true. So we just got home from Target, and Scarlett's right here. Hey, baby. Anyways, I'm about to get real organized. I got all of this, spent 20 bucks, that's it. And hopefully these like do what I need them to do. But I'm going to, I'll show you. Let's see if Scarlett will be okay with that. Right there. I need to organize this thing because I don't know if you've seen inside it, but I can like barely open it. And I wanna organize all my bathroom drawers and then my bathroom cabinet and possibly like our hallway cabinet and my closet. But I think I'm gonna do a specific video on organizing my closet. Maybe I have to, I don't know. So it's 7.15 I just put Scarlett to sleep and she went right to sleep. She's really tired. We also took a bath tonight because she has not had a bath for a few nights. Anyways, I am sitting here with her baby book and I have her Easter pictures and I'm pretty sure there's a spot in her baby book for her Easter, or er, for her, wait, for my first Easter. So I am going to add that to her baby book. This is the baby book I have. I bought it at Babies R Us. Um, I can't remember the brand of it, but I have a ton of pictures in it because I just couldn't pick uh, one. But like this is all about mom and this is all about dad. So yeah, I've like filled out, oh my gosh, look at that. I've like filled this out like a ton. Aww. So I just made dinner. And I'm having my leftover sweet potatoes from lunch this morning. I'm not really that hungry, so that's why I'm not eating a huge dinner. But I'm gonna end the vlog right here, so thank you all for watching. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also make sure to check out my giveaway that's going on right now. I posted a video a few videos back. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Good night. Say good night. Good night. <laughs>